Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. Today we have the uh, motor mount arrived for the um, the Schwinn chopper and uh, it's a special motor mount so the ADCC motor fits. This is it. Um, it comes from California. The welding is absolutely atrocious. There's porosity everywhere. If this was a bridge you'd fall apart. Apparently he didn't feel the need to weld around the corner here and this side that's right on the edge of the steel he didn't feel the need to weld this either. But for $60 we're going to install this thing so we can move forward with this. I cut a piece of Goodyear rubber and uh, it was from the rubber roof of my barn. It's ear indestructible Goodyear rubber and um, so I'm going to lay a piece of that down and um, I assume that the motor mount goes in this way. I thought this was centered and it's not so that's these tubes are not centered on that plate. I also cut two little pieces of rubber from a bicycle inner tube and when I put these plates down under I'm gonna like lay some rubber down here so it doesn't scratch the living shit out of my frame. So without further ado let's see if we could uh, The more I see this kit, I was like, I was thinking this was a professional kit. This is some guy in his garage with a Harbor Freight welder here. And uh, I could have done that. But for the sake of forward progress, I am going to just proceed. Let's see here. I need a washer, lock washer in a nut. This dude's an ass clown. It doesn't, he didn't even give me long enough bolts. Unbelievable, you know. I mean, I'm sure that this plate is going to bend, but I can't even get it started. Hmm. All right, let me try to figure this out. So, with a gigantic pair of channel locks, I have the other bolt just started and this one I have to and I consider doing this with the motor on oh If I had three hands, man, I would just be so productive. Where's my kid at? He just was out here and he left me. I just want to get the bolt started. Please, just let me get the bolt started. Oh, that's two on the floor. Right, I need to go get my kid. I need three hands. I wasn't able to get the washers on, but once I get this thing cranked down, I could take them off individually and put washers on. Um, yeah, this is something else. I wasn't expecting this. Alright, so 
I think as you crank these down, these these plates, the lower plates, are supposed to bend and contort around the frame a little bit. Um, I was able to get this one on with the original bolts, and this one over here, the far back one, I used a different a bumper bolt that it went down and it actually locked into the square part of the bumper bolt locked into this uh, slot. I'm going to change it out with the original bolts, but I just want to get the thing mocked up on the bike, and when I crank on these, I'm sure these plates are going to bend. I have pieces of rubber sandwiching in at the bottom plate and pieces of Goodyear rubber on the top plate so it doesn't scratch the shit out of my frame. Um, I believe this is how it goes. I have not watched any videos or anything. Um, there is an offset, and I hope that offset is correct for the motor. So, um, just crudely mocking the motor in here. And it appears that it hits my crank. So the whole thing needs to be slid towards me. Towards the, uh, like sitting on the bike, the right hand side of the bike. I don't even have these tight and this thing is just so hemmed up. Oh, the side of the motor is getting ganked over there. So... Yeah, this is, this one is, um, I guess I have a little, enough room to, to move this thing over a, a, a little bit, like pulling it towards me, and that would, uh, that would clear me from that, um, my crank over here hitting. So what's happening is over here the crank is hitting the motor so the whole thing needs to slide towards me and I might have to get longer bolts. I might go up, run up to Lowe's and get longer bolts so I'm starting off with something longer. I'm not. I'm, I mean, I can't even loosen this anymore. The dude's got. He literally gave me like enough thread. I have like one thread on here. If I like try to twist this, the whole thing's gonna come flatuling off. All right. So after moving and wiggling and wiggling and moving, my crank does clear the crankcase over there. Um, and it appears that if you're looking down the back that my sprockets are in line. So where that sprocket would be coming from right there would be in line with this. And uh, Okay, so the next step for this build for me is picking up some different bolts need four of them a little bit longer than this not beat up and made in China I want to get some good bolts maybe I'll get some with I could put a uh, Allen key in the top and then whatever's hanging off at the bottom I could like angle grind it maybe some black bolts um, I'm gonna go chase some kind of plugs for inside of these and clean these up. This one is like, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, I'll get some more light in there. This is how they delivered this thing. 65, 60, 60 bucks. I'll show you the listing here. Here's the, here's the listing I got. It. There's two listings for these. It's the same guy, BGF motor. Um, you have no choice. 
I pay, I ended up paying $63.11. You have the tax from California and you have shipping. But there was another listing that was including shipping, but it came out the same amount of money. And this is going to come out the same amount of money because you have to pay the tax in California. So, this guy, you know good. Uh, the next one we make, because I have another one of these, it's a green one. The next one will, uh, I'll weld my own plate. My son is a certified welder and we're going to just calculate it ourselves and do it. I thought this was uh, more of a professional gig. But um, this is an ongoing project. Um, the back tire, I have uh, set up with the, uh, the hub bracket. And I had a sprocket mounted to this and it was ready to go back on the bike. But I took the sprocket off because I was tracing the... Uh, the three holes for the blue Schwinn that I'm working on. Um, so I just didn't put the sprocket back on. This is the sprocket. See how it has this hole, this hole, and this hole are meant for this kit. And they line right up. Boom, boom, and boom. And uh, so I'll throw those bolts back on, put the back tire back on. I guess you want the back tire on so you could mock up a chain and make sure that your motor is in alignment before the motor is like really cranked down. You want to make sure your chain's not crooked. And uh, we'll catch that in um, part three. I'm going to chase uh, bolts and um, I'm obviously going to have carburetor issues again so I'm going to have to come up with maybe the offset coming off the left side of the bike over here and um, thank you for watching Old School Studios please hit like and subscribe have a good day